For more on this story, we can go across to our correspondent Andrew Roth in Moscow. Andrew, what's Moscow's reaction been to this latest round of sanctions? So naturally, you can expect what the reaction has been in Russia. People are angry about sanctions. You know, this uh, presidency was supposed to be a chance for Russia to increase its influence. And it seems like things are getting worse and worse. You do get a sense that there's a kind of two-track system, though. Uh, the Russians seem to, while they're angry at the United States, uh, they want to kind of preserve their relationship with Trump. And Trump doesn't seem against preserving his relationship with Moscow either. So what we're hearing is that there are attempts behind the scenes for uh, the U.S. to say, you know, we're forced by law to do this based on the, the use of a chemical weapon that's been uh, confirmed. Uh, but we would, you know, we don't really mean it. We'd like to limit uh, the fallout as much as we can. Now, on a separate issue, Andrew, uh, Facebook and Twitter say they've pulled pages of fake accounts aimed at spreading misinformation ahead of the midterm elections in November. The media companies are pointing the finger of blame at Iran and Russia. Is Moscow still saying its hands are clean? Yes, Russia is still saying its hands are clean. You know, we have these kinds of statements, it feels like, just about every day now, where Russia says, uh, you know, we haven't heard anything about this. There's no evidence. Uh, we're happy to work with the U.S. Uh, on cybersecurity together, but uh, we don't see anything concrete yet. So it, it's basically the same old tune. Uh, one thing I would note is that there was a Pew uh, poll yesterday that showed that when Putin says things like uh, we didn't uh, and we weren't involved in hacking in the U.S. elections, more than 70 percent of Russians agree with him. Uh, so, you know, in terms of at home, what he has to deal with, uh, there's really no pressure or not as much pressure on, on Putin to change the sort of way that he, uh, he faces these allegations. So Russia has denied being behind the Microsoft hacks, being behind any of these recent, you know, Facebook issues as well, uh, and, and it's pretty much staying the course.